haircuts are extremely essential. Like if you don't have a haircut, it's like the end of the world. I mean, I haven't had a haircut in quite a bit now, and I'm starting to look like the freaking the skinny next cast of freaking Wolverine. Like I need a haircut. And the tough part is that right now with the whole barber thing and coronavirus, it's kind of tough to get one. And it's always booked. It's really hard to get one. It's like, dude, it just sucks, man. Anyways, we all know that 2020 hasn't been the best year. It's been really crazy and a lot of crazy things have happened. A lot of bad things have happened. A lot of just setbacks and, and uh, just not much excitement going on through here. You know, you don't really get to go out and enjoy and just fruit your life as you used to before the coronavirus. But one good thing about this thing is that I did get a new car, 2020. What a weird year to get a car, but I did. Probably not the best year I should have waited. I was just very stubborn on it. And that's why you might see I got a different interior. It's not the same car I used to have, which was a Solara. This one is actually a brand new 2020 Corolla. Uh, nice shade edition, SE. It's actually pretty nice. I'll show you a little bit about the interior. Just a little sneak peek while I'm driving. Um, here's a quick interior, quick interior. That's all you guys gotta see, okay? You guys gotta wait now. If you're wondering what happened to the old car, I actually gave it to my mom. Yeah, I don't know, I just didn't want it to sit there. So she took that car, she's gonna be having that car. But sometimes I do take it here and there if I'm going to the store real quick or something. Only because of the miles on this car. Just because I literally got this car, I wanna say about three months now, or two. Yeah, two months, two and a half. And I already got almost 2,000 miles in this car. And so I know it's probably like really easy to be like, how the hell did you get 2,000 miles in your car in like two months? That's like a 1,000 miles a month. A little over two months. Honestly, I got a little excited on the first days I got this car. The first day I ever got this car, the same day buying it, that same night I took a trip to the beach, which took up a couple miles, considering I live about an hour away from the beach. And I know I took it to LA. This car's been through a couple of drives. I, I took it to other places further away and I just can't come off of it at the top of my head. But, um, yeah, it's a nice car. It drives really nice. And I know Toyotas are basically known for lasting a really long time. So that's what I'm hoping that's gonna happen with this car. Um, but only time will tell. All right, you guys, I might have forgotten to close out the video yesterday, uh, but I actually never finished the video and I just saw it today. So it's a brand new day. As you can see, I got a brand new fit on. I just got out the shower. My dog is here. Do not come in the car because you're gonna get the car dirty, buddy. No. But anyways, I never got to show you guys the car, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you guys the car and I'm also gonna take you guys on a trip with me um, to go get some Starbucks and then we'll get our little doggies puppuccinos. This is my dog. You big head, big nose, bro. He's always up in everyone's business, you know? And this is the interior of the car, which is the only part I showed you guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and start it up. And once we get that car started up, Christmas tree, bro. Yeah, if you ever have a car like this, you just gotta throw it away. You just gotta, it's the joke. All right, guys, that's the car. Let's go ahead and show you guys the outside of the car, which would be the exterior. All right, you guys got my dog right there. I'm right there. I stopped in the middle of nowhere just to get this thing to split. But that's the front there. All right, it's a light shape, so it has a gray and it has a touch of black. As you can see, the rims are black as well. Original Toyota rims. The car is kind of dirty. They need to clean, I'm saying. The, what's it called? The rear here are black. You got the handles that are black. Also, we move on to the back. see there it's a pretty it's a pretty stylish car that's for the looks of it I love it that's kind of like a broader look right there and it's gonna show you guys the inside my dog I actually brought my dog in with me I occasionally traditionally get him puppuccinos and that's what he's in for today he's in for a puppuccino tree Coco my little boy anyways this is the interior here you have your touch screen you can do the maps on here you can put aux cord bluetooth you got satellite radio um you name it i'm pretty sure there's a way you could actually display your screen on your phone on here so if i can watch netflix hopefully i'm, I'm a little bit more into it hopefully i can find a way to movies here so anybody got my friends around there they watch movies no one ever watched movies drive and um so this is a dashboard here we got the nice corolla everything's nice you got your buttons right here on the steering wheel um you know the, the normal right here as you can see also the interior is blacked out um everything's blacked out as well as these right here these are actually not gray and i think they're actually black it might be hard to see right now but everything is blacked out in the car which is one of the things that i really liked about the car 
the back is pretty spacious it's not bad as you can see you know the seating's got like the little blue i don't even know what to call it but it looks nice and it complements the car especially with my dodger mask you heard um so it does have little like sports mode right it has its little sports mode you can put it on manual you can shift your gears manually instead of putting it on drive automatically um but of course at the end of the day this isn't going to do much in sports mode because it is a corolla it's not your lamborghini or it's not a freaking gtr it's not a, it's not a, it's not a racing car it's just a, a normal sedan which they kind of implemented a couple more horsepowers with that sports uh, button but not much of a change other than that it's not fast i think my my older car which would be my solora someone with the water bottle there whose is that <laughs> the older solora is actually um faster than this one for sure for sure for sure uh but it is nice and it saves me a lot of gas so right now i'm about a little over halfway i usually fill it up at least every week i put about 20 bucks and it fills up halfway to full um with 20 dollars right now um, that's what gas being at prices with like three three fifteen because I do put it at shell um, The thing that I really loved about this car that my other car didn't have is it shows you the miles you go before you run out of gas Focus there you are so you can see it says 215 on a full tank. It is up to 400 miles other than that guys There's not so much to this car. Uh, it is a car just like any other car it gets you places. I love it It's hot. I don't know if you can tell but I am sweating. I just got out the shower guys and I'm already burning um, so is my dog. So I think I'm gonna stop the video real quick. I'm actually gonna take you guys with me We're gonna go on a Starbucks trip. Go ahead and stop by the Starbucks. I am an employee So I do get discounts, but no, I cannot display to you guys my partner numbers because I will get fired But we're gonna show you guys the original price of what it would actually come out to and then we'll show you guys the discounted price um, After all the discounts. Oh my god, I'm the horrible camera man After all the discounts are placed so that you guys can see the difference. It's actually pretty insane. Uh, can I please get a um do you guys have the mango dragon fruit in stock? Uh, we do. Can I get one, uh, Trenta, please? Did you want to get that with lemonade today? Um, no, just the one, the one without lemonade is fine. Okay, sounds good. What else are you saying? And then can I get a Trenta strawberry acai? Just a regular one as well. And, um, can I just get a banana nut bread? Would you like that warmed up or regular? Uh, you can leave it in the bag, it comes in. Oh, good. And then that'll be it for me. 1930, thank you. Awesome, thank you. All right, guys, so you heard it. The total came out to $19.30. And then we're going to go ahead and see how much it comes out right now. I forgot your puppuccinos. I'm sorry. All right, guys. So I did get the I didn't get the receipt, but I do have the total. So if you guys trust me, just trust me. I'm telling you guys the truth. Uh, but the total did come out to eight. It was eight something, and I do have the dollar here that she returned because I paid with the ten dollar. I paid with ten dollars, and then um, she returned me like one dollar and like a couple cents. So it was around. I know it was eight something. I don't remember the exact price, and I'm on my way home already. The total in the beginning was, I can't remember, but I do have a, I have a clip on it. I believe it was what, 19 maybe, 18, 19. So you can see it went down a lot, almost like 10 bucks, if not a little more. Um, so yo, discounts do be coming clutch. And my dog is just afraid. He's been laying down on the floor in the back. I don't know why he's being scary. I got him a puppuccino and he kind of took a little dig at it. Watch that. He took a small little dig on it and he just left it there. All right guys, real quick, before I do close off this video, I want you guys to try out this drink right here recommended by a friend of mine who actually came out clutch uh, so it's actually a uh, venti ice chai tea latte and you got the vanilla pumps in there with the pumpkin cold foam i got light which is not really light it's actually like normal but it's all good pumpkin foam is pumpkin foam um just because i'm picky you ready here devour buddy devour That's actually a lot of whipped cream. I don't even think they're supposed to fill it up all the way. Mm -hmm. No, look this is the best drink I've ever tried. I'm not even over here again. Sit down. Sit. No, sit. Good boy. Oh, you got no mercy on that one. Oh my goodness.
you what you please, bro.